My fifth knot is uh, not much of a secret and it's uh, a knot that a lot of people use. Different versions of, of, of this. The most common name is maybe the clinch knot. Uh, it's a knot I use when I tie on my hooks onto my tubes. I fish mostly 95% tubes and uh, very few hooked flies today. And uh, this is also simple. You, you, you have to count your turns, make sure you don't get do too few turns. Then you end up with that curly little piece of leader and the fish is lost. Um, make sure you can do this in the dark. It's good when your flashlight is out of batteries. You need to be able to do this. Very important. So you can change your fly in the dark too. I'm going to do this on the fly line again first and I found a big mean treble that will fit with the fly line. I go through the eye and then I just do six turns around. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't do too few here. Three is not enough. It will slip. Then I go back through the first eye closest to the I have the hook. Some people pull it here, but I'll go back through the big one like that. Then I pull it and it doesn't slip so good on the fly line, but I'll show you later on on the material. It'll be easier. Clinch knot, very, very strong, very, very simple. And also because of the loop, it's easy to do in the dark. And on a regular tube hook with uh, leader material, it looks like this, through the eye, do the six turns, two, three, four, five, six, go through the loop close, closest to the hook and back again, hold the loose end, pull it a little bit, then wet it and pull it tight. Pull it down. And uh, when it comes to this knot, I tend not to cut it super tight. Just a little end. Provide it from slipping. Strong and simple. Effective and good.